Hello everyone, this is Noor and welcome back to my channel. So before I go ahead and start off this makeup tutorial, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, I know YouTube has been doing a lot of changes on here and I've contacted them recently and they said that I need to let you guys know to refresh your notification with me. If you guys haven't hit the notification button, please hit it to get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you already did, please try to do it again like that you can get notified again uh, because apparently there's like some glitches going on and a lot of you guys are not getting my notification. So if you already hit the bell, make sure that you just hit it again and see for the next time. And if you didn't, please do so like that you will see every time I upload a new video. For this makeup tutorial, I honestly didn't know what to do and I still don't know what to call it. By the time this video is posted, there will be a title for it. This is going to be kind of doing my makeup depending on my mood. I don't know if these videos I've already done before. I mean, I've never watched it here on YouTube, but I decided to do it. So I was feeling kind of blue a little bit today. Um, you know, we all have this phases i was feeling a little bit blue and um i was feeling also yellow like electrified i don't know what it is i'm just i'm just in those kind of moods lately like i'm not happy and i'm not sad i'm kind of like in between so this is the look that I came up with when I'm feeling kind of like in between <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense but I really hope you guys enjoy it and if you guys want to see how I created it please keep on watching all right you guys as you guys can see I already have my foundation concealer brows the whole shebang is already on my face if you guys are wondering what I use everything is going to be indicated in the info box down below for you guys make sure you check it out today this is the look that I'm going for what it is I don't know <laughs> I was going for a different look but I ended up with this one and it looks like this. So in the meantime, let's zoom in on the other eye and recreate or try to recreate what I did on the other eye. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is apply a base and I'm using my P. Louise base and this is in Rumor 1. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this and I'm going to blend that away with my finger. And I am using a palette that I've never used before, so I'm kind of excited about it because it's new, well new. I've had it for a while, but never used it to be honest. So I am doing that in this video. I decided to use a palette that I have, you know, that I, you know, casually spent money for and never used. So yeah. <laughs> And uh, this is the palette right here. This is from Kat Von D and this is the Divine palette. I believe Divine is a drag queen and uh, if you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of RuPaul Drag Race. I'm a huge fan of any drag queen, to be honest. I love them all. I love the show. I watch it over and over again. I found out a drag queen that I love so very much uh, because she just made me laugh and her attitude and everything about her when I was watching her on her season that had passed away August 20th, I believe. And it literally broke my heart. It was really sad to see. When I found out, I was in bed going to sleep actually, and I found out from Michelle Visage posted a video of her on her Instagram and I was like, no, 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 this is not true. It was really heartbroken and it's Chi Chi Divine. I love Chi Chi so much. Rest in peace queen and hopefully you're giving your best shows up there in heaven. I just loved her. I loved her on her season. She is just so funny and very talented. So I'm really sorry for Chi Chi's family loss. Um, she was an amazing queen. This is the palette that I'm using and it looks like that and it's quite funky there's some blues black the black is so pigmented the green is so pretty i don't have this green on my eyes today i don't know i was feeling blue and i forgot to show you this is the mirror how cool is that you have divine's brows on there this is cat von d and this is divine here so i'm going to be taking a piece of tape and i am going to put that on the outer side of my eye and a little bit lower on the lower lash line 
and I'm gonna do the same technique as I did in my smoked out liner with eyeshadow so I'm gonna take the black from the palette and this is called hard magic it's just the black and I am going to press this against the tape right on top of the skin on top of the tape I'm using the palette smear here so you guys can get a better view or a better tutorial if you want to call it and I'm going to be dragging this black out and this black is very pigmented when I did it on the eye I dragged it really really out and I kind of brought it in inwards as well anyways it's going to be hidden with all of that stuff but just to make that blue a bit darker i'm going to take a little bit of that black again and i'm going to press it a little bit more on the inner corners right here just to make it darker Next, I'm going to be taking this blue right here, and this is called Waters. I'm going to be taking it with a smaller brush, and I'm going to start putting this blue right on top of the black liner and blending it up to the crease as well. Next, I'm going to be taking a color called Babs, and this is how it looks like. It's kind of like a uh, champagne slash gold, and I'm going to be spraying my brush. I'm taking a smaller shader brush. I'm, I'm spraying it with the All Nighter from Urban Decay, and this is the brush I'm using. This is from Morphe and Jacqueline, and this is the JH41. So I'm just going to take this color wet first and I'm going to apply it in the inner corners and I'm going to bring it all the way up to the brow and then I'm going to fade it in the reason why I used it wet is just to be a little bit more pigmented and then I'm going to take it dry and just pat it on top I'm going to take a bigger fluffier brush this is from Coastal Scents gonna take Babs again and I'm just going to apply it dry and then while I'm blending it I'm gonna take hairspray which is this shade right here I find the names are so cool in this palette you have pink pink flamingo so you would figure out it would be pink but it's actually a bright shimmery green it's genius I love it <laughs> I'm gonna take hairspray and I'm going to add hairspray in the middle and I'm going to blend it with Babs and Waters as well. I'm just gonna take the brush that I used Waters with and I'm going to blend out hairspray. Next I'm gonna be taking the white shade and this is called Female Trouble. And this is a very pigmented white, you guys. I'm just gonna remove the tape at this point. So female trouble, I'm going to take it with a small brush as well. I'm going to add it right under the brow to highlight. And I'm also going to put it in the inner corners right here. I'm going to be taking hard magic again, which is the first black color that I used. And I am going to apply it on the outer corners of the eye, lower lash line. And I'm going to blend it out. I'm not going to put anything down here. I'm just going to keep it empty because I'm putting a yellow line inside the eye. And this is it for the eyeshadow. I'm just going to blend here a little bit. Now comes in the liquid liners. I am using two. The first one is from Stila and this is the 
a stay all day waterproof liquid liner I love this stuff. I wish I had the Kat Von D one, but I actually ran out. I would say hands down the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper is one of my favorite liquid liners to use and I want to get it in white as well. One of the best liquid liners that I've ever used. As much as I love this Tila, but I think I like the Kat Von D a little bit more than this Tila one. And then I'm using the one from NYX and this is the Vivid Bright. Mine is a little bit drying out on me so it was kind of hard to maneuver around. Hopefully it will be fine to, to apply it on this eye. And this is called Vivid Hollow. I have a lot of those here and I have to say they're not my favorite. I, I feel like they dry out so fast. I love the fact they're so pigmented and so bright but I feel like they're kind of a waste of money because they just dry out so extremely fast. I do like them, but I don't like them at the same time, if you guys know what I mean. I'm gonna go ahead and do this here. So this was quite interesting because I honestly did not know where I was going with this look. I didn't know where I was going with this look, to be honest. So basically I was just having fun with it and this is what I decided to do. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be taking the liquid liner and I am going to line the low part here where the black ends. I'm just going to line it. Then I am going to kind of draw an upper line with this going up, but trying to match it with the other eye as much as possible. Sorry, my liner is drying out, so it's not helping whatsoever and I'm just going to join it with the lash line then I'm going to be taking the yellow from NYX I'm going to put this yellow right under the black so you see here I put some black but that's fine I'm just going to go over it with the yellow I'm putting the first line here and I'm going to be doing the same thing but on the lower side. So once I have the yellow, I'm going to take the black again, my Stila liquid liner, and I'm going to be drawing this black right under the yellow again. Sorry, I'm just changing the black liner because it's pissing me off at this point. So I'm going to take this MAC liquid liner, it's also a brush, and I'm going to go under the yellow and just trace my black again. This is a waterproof liner from MAC, which is one of my favorite. It's a brush, it's a little, it is a little bit harder to work with if you're not used to it and i'm just gonna go over the rest of the eye here with the liner again next i'm gonna be doing the inner corners i'm gonna try to use the stila liner again because it has a fine very very fine tip so i find it's easier for me to kind of create that pointy tear duct area so I'm just going to follow that liner, I'm gonna press it against the skin so it can show. Then I'm gonna take the yellow again, the yellow liquid liner, and I'm going to put that in here. I'm gonna be taking the MAC liner because the Stila one is just, it's gone. <laughs> Next, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the liner and I'm going to be taking the MAC liquid liner 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the black line right under the yellow here. I'm gonna let the liquid liners dry for a sec. In the meantime, I'm gonna go off camera and I'm going to apply my mascara. I'm using the Benefit The Real Mascara. And I'm also going to be applying lashes and they look like this. These are the Huda Beauty Lashes and the name of those is Scarlet 8. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply these babies on and I'll be back to finish up the rest of the face with you guys. While I was putting my mascara and the lashes, I went ahead and I also applied a yellow liner inside the waterline. And this is from MAC. This is Chromographic in Primary Yellow. And I just added that all over the waterline just to kind of give it a little bit more color. Next, I do have a few stuff here from Kat Von D since I used the palette, the eyes. Might as well just finish my face as well with some Kat Von D. So I have the Shade and Light palette here. I am so happy she created the palettes like this because now you can actually buy the refills and not always buy the same palette and over and over. I'm going to contour with this one. I feel like you guys always see me use the same product. Um, in this video, I'm just going to change it up for you guys because I know sometimes it gets boring and you guys don't want to see me use the same colors on the same products over and over so i'm kind of like changing up a little bit even though you've seen me use this a lot in my previous tutorials i'm going to be taking my little angle brush right here from morphe and jacqueline and i'm going to dip my brush into shadow play which is my favorite one and i'm going to contour my face with this one first I'm gonna do a little bit of nose contour as well. I'm gonna take the big old brush and I'm going to blend it out. I'm gonna take a small brush and I'm gonna take Lyric right here. Just is going to just highlight a little bit under the eyes just to kind of brighten up a little bit. I'm gonna be taking this palette right here. This is the fetish collection that Kat Von D came up with. I think you can still find this on Kat Von D's website. You can't find it on Sephora, I believe. I don't know if you can because this came out, I would say maybe a year ago. Um, I did buy it from the Kat Von D website, so yeah. And this is how it looks like. I even have the eyeshadow palette. This is how it looks like. It's quite funky so you have three blushes and three these are the metal, metal crush highlights i believe i know the texture of this it's the same texture as in this palette which i'm going to show you soon but i'm going to be using the blush in this one i'm going to be taking this peachy orange shade salim s-a-l-e-m salim i don't know but i'm going to be taking this color right here and I'm going to apply it on the apples of the cheeks. I'm going to spray down my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Next for highlight, I'm using the Metal Crush from Kat Von D. And I'm going to be taking the shade right here. This is called Helix. And I am going to take that with a small defined brush because I do need a little bit of shimmer and I'm just going to look at this I don't know if you guys could see that but that is glittery <laughs> I'm just going to take a little bit of that as well here these are not like your typical highlighters these have a chunky glitter to them which I kind of like um, not a lot of people like it but I do to be honest with you guys I edited out the lips because I tried two colors on before and I hated them <laughs> so I ended up changing taking them all off and I feel like I just want to wear a gloss on my lips I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty gloss and this is in diamond milk and I'm just going to apply 
a little bit of that i don't want it to be too much so i'll go ahead fix up my hair and i'll be back to finish up the look with you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as i enjoyed creating it for you guys even though with a lot of struggles i kind of managed to make it work if you guys are interested to know everything that i used in this tutorial everything is going to be indicated in the info box down below for you guys if you decide to recreate this look please tag me on my social media down below as well i have my instagram my facebook i also have tiktok as well you can follow me on there thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you later bye